You have now learned the concepts of life and health insurance and annuities. Let's review some of the key areas from this section that will help you prepare to pass. The role of insurance is to transfer the risk of financial loss from an individual or business to an insurance company, which in turn spreads the cost of the unexpected financial loss to many individuals. If there was not an insurance system in place, the cost of the loss would have to be covered solely by the individual who suffered the loss. For example, life insurance guarantees a specific sum of money when someone dies. Health insurance provides funds to cover medical bills due to sickness or injury and to also cover the loss of money because of a disability. Annuities provide a stream of income by making a series of payments over a certain period of time. Insurance is available from both private companies and the government. Private companies are also known as commercial insurance companies. They are funded through premiums and sell insurance for a profit. While government programs are funded with taxes and serve national and state social purposes. The two most popular types of commercial insurers are stock companies and mutual companies. Stock companies. A stock insurance company is organized and incorporated under state law. They are owned by the stockholders who get a paid share of the company's profits through dividends. Stock companies are also referred to as non-participating or non-par because policyholders do not participate in being paid dividends. Mutual insurers. Mutual insurance companies are also organized and incorporated under state laws, but they have no stockholders. Instead, the policyholders own the company. And as owners, they get paid a share of the company's profits through dividends. Mutual companies are also referred to as participating or par companies because the policy owners do participate in being paid dividends. Mutualization. If a stock company decides to be converted into a mutual company, the process is called mutualization. Demutualization. If a mutual company decides to be converted into a stock company, the process is called demutualization. Lloyds of London. Lloyds of London is not actually an insurance company, but rather an association formed to underwrite and issue insurance-like coverage on certain items and areas that might otherwise be uninsurable. Reinsurers. Reinsurers are a specialized branch of the insurance industry. They insure other insurance companies' risk. Reinsurance is arrangement by which an insurance company transfer or sells a portion of the risk to reinsurance company. The insurance company transferring the risk is called the seeding company, and the company assuming the risk is the reinsurer. Home service insurers. Home service insurance is industrial insurance sold by home service or debit insurance companies. The face amounts are very small, usually $1,000 to $2,000, and the premium is collected weekly door-to-door -door by agents. Service providers. Service providers offer benefits to subscribers in return for the payment of a premium. The most common service providers are health maintenance organizations, better known as HMOs, and preferred provider organizations, better known as PPOs. Government insurance programs are offered through Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. How insurance is sold. Most consumers purchase insurance from licensed insurance producers. Insurance producers may be agents who represent a specific company or brokers who represent several companies. An agent can be classified as captive, meaning they work for and represent only one insurance company, or independent, meaning they can represent several different insurance companies. History of insurance regulation. 1945 McCarran and Ferguson Act states that while the government has authority to regulate the insurance industry, it would not exercise that right if the insurance industry was run effectively and adequately by the states. 1970 Fair Credit Reporting Act. 1970 Fair Credit Reporting Act provides individuals privacy, protection, and fair and accurate credit reporting. Insurance companies are required to notify applicants of the credit check that will be made on them and allow them access and notification on anything that may be found. Oversight of the insurance industry. The National Association of Insurance Commissioners is an organization composed of insurance commissioners 
from all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and the four U.S. territories. The NAIC is responsible for resolving insurance regulatory problems as they are active in the formation and recommendation of insurance legislation, which is designed to bring uniformity from state to state and simplify the marketing of insurance. State guarantee associations protect policy owners in the event of any insurance company going out of business, becoming insolvent, or the inability to pay claims. Independent rating services. Independent rating services are independent credit rating agencies that rate or grade the financial strength and stability of insurance companies. Ratings are based on claims, reserves, and company profits. The following companies provide the insurance industry with these ratings. AM Best, Standard & Poor's, Moody's, and Fitch. Fully understanding the key topics just discussed is essential as you prepare to pass.